We're good? Look at all the bird shit everywhere. Do you see this? Anyway, let's just get straight into the video. Three reasons why I don't get bitches. First one is the way you dress. If you dress like a bum, that's probably why you don't get bitches. Health. If you're like fat, your breath stinks, you smell like shit, that's another reason. Intellect. If you're a dumbass, that's also probably another reason why you don't get bitches. Next, how to get girls. Um, you have to be good looking and have game. That's really sort of all it is. You could be broke and pull bitches. Like, you could be broke and pull, like, legit tens. So, it just comes down to, like, your game, how confident you are, and if you're just ugly. If you don't get bitches and you dress good, you have money, you're smart, your hygiene is perfect, then you're just ugly. How do I make my girl happy? Easy. Um, next question. I would say in order to have your girl to be happy, if she's your girl, I would say you being happy is what makes her happy. That's if she's your girl. If she's just a random whore, just give her attention and she'll, she'll be perfectly happy. Next question. Do girls care if they have a boyfriend? Uh, no. You have a 75% chance of getting, getting a girl with a boyfriend. Why is that? It's because you have to be that guy, I guess. Because majority of the time, girls don't really care if they have a boyfriend or not. It's just if you are that guy. If you were like her dream guy, then yeah, it doesn't matter if she has a boyfriend or not. She'll, she'll fuck you. If you have a girlfriend that will say no to every guy and only be for you, that girl right there is probably like the top 10% of women. So, congratulations, but don't leave her around me. What type of girls to stay away from? Oh, I'd say stay away from party girls. That's one of them. That's a big one. One of them is party girls. Because they're just always out drinking, sucking dick, and just having too much fun. Because then they'll like try and say you're controlling. Like you don't want them to go out. You want them to dress this way. So, yeah, just stay away from party girls. Those are... That's just a problem in itself. A girl that is a uh, another one is a girl that's a part of any group. If you if you're if you're looking at, if you're looking to date a girl and she's a part of any type of group, if she's if she is if you if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. If she's a part of any group, do not date her. Do not do nothing. Uh, it's best you stay away from her because of the fact that that's probably her own personality. That's like that group is her personality and that is not very good because you guys will butt heads 99% of the time if you're dating a girl and she's a part of any group or any club or any this that whatever uh, you probably know from experience you can't talk to them because they'll disagree with everything you say so if you want a peaceful relationship stay away from party girls stay away from girls that are in clubs and car girls away from car girls girls that know too much about cars girls that are fixated on cars stay the fuck away from them because nine times out of ten they'll only care about what kind of car you drive and they'll flex your car like it's their car or they will just find a guy with a better car. For some game for the girls. What type of guys should you stay away from? This is one is for the girls. Girls, stay away from the car guys. If you are dating a car guy, uh, nine times out of ten, he will fuck a dumpster. They're, they get no pussy. They're too busy fixing their cars. So they're just straight grease monkeys. They're just dirty you'll probably get a yeast infection or you mostly probably had had a yeast infection if he fingered you after fixing his car um yeah they're just pussy to me and i don't fuck with pussies emotional men if you have if you're dating somebody or you're looking at dating into a guy and he's very emotional uh stay the fuck away from him eight times out of ten you'll probably get smacked or he'll put his hands. He'll just he'll just basically put his hands on you. He'll probably cry about you to everything, and that is not very good. So yeah, stay away from emotional men. <clears throat> and another one, number three, on what type of guys to stay away from? These guys that wake up late. If he wakes up 10, 10 a.m. or later, stay the fuck away from him. He's just a bum. If he just wakes up at if he wakes up at ten a.m. 
that is already just bum behavior. If he wakes up anything later than that, straight bum. Don't care if he works overnight. Bum. Don't, don't, don't be around it. I'm sorry. Not really. Type of people you should not be friends with. Guys that get no pussy. If uh, if you're thinking about if you're thinking about being somebody's friend or if it's somebody in your friend group, cut them off if they get no pussy. That is rule number one. If he gets no pussy, get the f get the fuck away from him because in in just a certain amount of time, you spending time with him, eventually he will stab you in the back just to get some pussy. So, and that is probably like the worst type of snake. A guy that switches for pussy because he's probably the most easily manipulated by women and by TV. So stay away from guys that don't get pussy. A guy that hasn't struggled. If you're, if you have somebody in your friend group that hasn't struggled at all, stay away from him. He's just a bitch. That's really it. You, do you want to be friends with a bitch? Cause he'll cry if your car breaks down. So uh, I don't I just just stay away from guys that haven't been struggled. Guys that can't handle stress basically is what is that equivalence. Somebody and he's lazy. Stay the fuck away from him. Lazy, as in like he doesn't. Uh, he always has. He's just lazy. I don't know how to explain lazy. It's just like he doesn't ever want to do anything. He'd rather just stay home and eat chips all day or. I don't know how to explain it because there's a lot of lazy people that are skinny and there's a lot of lazy people that are fat. It's just like you just know when they're lazy. I'll give the girls some types of people to stay away from as well. I'll stay away from girls that are always single. If they, if you guys are thinking about being with a friend or if she is already your friend and she is single 99% of the time, she's always in and out of relationships, stay the fuck away from her because it's only a matter of time till she affects your life and... Would you rather her be the one single with 100 cats and 55? Or would you rather be the one single at the age of 55 with 100 cats? You pick. Let her be a single whore by herself and you be just a loyal woman. Another one is if she's always in drama or if she's in somebody else's drama. Stay the, way, stay the fuck away from her. That is just problem brewing stay away from her and not only is it just a problem it's also just annoying do you i mean you girls like that drama shit so just just stay away from it try just watch the kardashians or something if you want some drama if you want something to just like have your blood moving if you have an itch because i don't know why you girls have itch for drama watch the kardashians another one party girls <laughs> if if you have a friend that's always at parties, she's always drinking, stay the fuck away from her. Stay away from her. There's a reason why she's out there drinking and looking for attention like that. So, like I said, if you try not to be single for the rest of your life, don't be friends with party girls. If you want to be single for the rest of your entire life and you don't want guys to respect you or anything, then yeah, go to parties, dress like a slut, suck dick, and drink all you want and get blacked out drunk. Your life, not mine. How to win a fight. This one's pretty fun. So basically, if you just be loud, act crazy, do anime, don't blink, and pace around, you can basically get out of any fight ever. So let me show you what it will look like all in all. The pace around. Next one's pace around. You just gotta pace. Just keep pacing, keep pacing. Another one to act crazy so start moving your hands if you want to act crazy start moving your hands start to be loud deuce and then you gotta do anime if you guys don't watch anime basically just do things very um amplified so when you laugh laugh like uh i don't know how to explain it just act like anime just do anime shit if you're pacing around and you're laughing laugh like an anime person you have to watch anime to basically figure it out, but I'm gonna put it all in all. I'm gonna put it all together just to show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you wanna fight me, huh? <laughs> and right there, they should not wanna fight you. If they do happen to wanna still kick your ass and they still want to fight and they don't wanna back down, I don't know what you should do. Call 911, run, I don't know. But if you ask me, if somebody were to do that shit to me, I would be like, all right, 
There's something fucking wrong with you. Just saying. What's one thing I should stop doing? Um, easy. For the guys, stop fucking jerking off. If you're a guy and you're in high school, especially out of high school, if you're in high school and especially out of high school, stop fucking jerking off. Why, why are you having your dick in your hand in bed by yourself to your phone? Does that just not sound weird? Just go get pussy. It's, it's easy. But, you know, it's considered hard if you're like either just a loser. So instead of jerking off, how about you just hit the gym? For the girls, stop thinking you're better than everybody. Stay humble. Stop saying I'm the baddest bitch because you're not. And it it's a big turnoff for 90% of guys. If you're just if you're just loud, obnoxious and you think you're better than everybody, guys will not find that attractive. If you're just cute, quiet and humble, that is way more attractive. So for the guys, stop jerking off and go to the gym. And for the girls, stop being fucking obnoxious and saying you're better than everybody and just be humble. But yeah, that was answering questions that Google can't with Envy Samaj. So, see you on the next one.